In this short video, I would like to give you a quick introduction to VBA and hopefully convince you to learn more about it. So what is VBA and uh, what can you do with it? VBA stands for Visual Basic for Applications. It is a programming or a scripting language for Excel and other office applications. You can automate tedious tasks in Excel. Whatever you have been doing in Excel, you can do it more efficiently using VBA. So VBA is a programming language. It means that you will have to now learn programming. Uh, but don't worry about it because programming is no longer for nerds and geeks. It is a lot easier to program today than it was 20 years ago. By learning programming, you will become more proficient Excel user. You will be able to automate many boring, tedious tasks in Excel. And it is a lot easier to code VBA than Excel formulas, as I will show you shortly. And if you are lucky, you may even find it enjoyable. Before we talk about VBA programming, let's go over some preliminaries. So what background do you need to learn VBA? Well, to begin with, you need to be proficient with Excel. But my course does not require any previous programming experience. I am actually going to be teaching you how to program. The biggest thing you need is the curiosity and the will to learn something new and I'm sure you all have it. You of course need Excel 2003 or a later edition of the software. Here is a problem. I have 100 students in my class and the column C contains their point score for the quarter. The quarter has now ended and I'm ready to assign a letter grade based on this uh, criteria. For example, if a student's point score was greater than 90, he or she will get an A. If it was between 81 and 90, he or she would get an B and so on. I obviously don't want to do it manually, so I have two options. One, to write a spreadsheet formula to compute the letter grade or to write a VBA function to do the same thing. Let us look at both of these approaches. Option 1. At the top we have the spreadsheet formula. Uh, we can actually compute the letter grade using this formula. This is one way to do that. Another way to do that is by writing a VBA function. So here is my VBA function. The name of the function is grade. It takes one integer and it returns a string, a letter grade. And depending on what you pass to it, it will decide what the grade should be, whether A, B, C, D, or F. In the next slide, I will show you how to use each one of these approaches in Excel. So here is my actual Excel spreadsheet with uh, the point score. And in column D, I want to compute the letter grade. So let's start with the Excel for, uh, formula, the spreadsheet formula first. So I go to cell D2, go to the formula bar, type in the formula that I just showed you. I'm a fast typist and press the enter key and there is my letter grade. Then I can copy that cell down and it'll compute the letter grade for each one of these students. So that's one way to do that. Next, I am going to show you how to do it the VBA way, the preferred way, at least in my opinion. So let's start with the uh, Excel spreadsheet, the same uh, worksheet. And first you go to the developer tab. Find the developer tab at the top, click on it. And all the way to the left, it says Visual Basic. Click on the Visual Basic button and you should see what is called the Microsoft Visual Basic Editor or VBE. So your screen should look something like that. In that window, click on insert and a module. We need a place to write the code. So this is where you are going to be writing the code. Now remember the function that I showed you earlier. Just type that function right here. So here is the function. It's it, This is simple text editor. Just go ahead and type whatever the function that I showed you earlier. Then go back to the worksheet 
and in cell D2 type in equals grade and where is the point score coming from it is coming from cell C2 enter that's it and you saw that it actually computed the letter grade for you you can uh, copy the cells down and it basically copies that formula or a call to that function in the cells uh, underneath it so I showed you two ways of doing the same thing so now let's compare the two approaches which one is easier to write easier to test easier to debug and easier to modify in my opinion it is clearly the VBA code so if you are convinced with my argument let's continue on I suggest that you try writing this function I already showed you all the steps that you need to complete it if you are using Excel 2007 make sure you go to the developer tab select macro security and select the last button and also check this box this will allow you to write macros if you are using Excel 2003 then you are going to select the security tab and select low security setting again this will allow you to write the macros so if you are excited about VBA and want to learn VBA programming please visit my website techednet.com my course will teach you just the skills you need to start using VBA in your everyday work specifically after completing the course you will be able to write functions and macros that interact with the worksheets and automate many repetitive tasks in Excel.